Hello! Whoa! I'm super small. Let me make... Let's make... Okay, there we go. Hi. Welcome back. This is 6-4, and we are talking about calculating the area between curves for two different functions. This video is going to specifically talk about um, utilizing a calculator to, to help you do that, and I'm going to be utilizing a TI Inspire CX. Uh, if you have a, a CAS version, you can cruise on over to Mr. Maestas's, uh videos. He does his um, with a CAS, but I'll, I'll be utilizing the, the CX because that's what most of my students have. Okay. All right, so without further ado, um, let's go ahead and look at this example. And here they want us to set up integrals for the total area of the regions located between the two curves as shown. We may use a calculator, which means you should use a calculator. And uh, we have the two functions. So what they want here is they want this area between the two curves. So notice that for um, the two functions, okay, and, and what we have here is, is f of x is, is shown in red, and g of, g of x is, whoa, not purple, it's blue. Uh, it is blue, and um, I want to go ahead and, and find the, the integral. So the integral is going to be equal to the top minus the bottom, right? That's how we find the area in between the curve. So notice for, for the first region over, over here on this side, right? Um, the function f of x is on top. So I'm going to have f of x minus g of x, okay? That's, that's for the, the, first, the first portion, okay? Um, dx, okay? Plus, and I'm going to add the other area, so it's going to be, and over here, notice on this side that g of x is on top, right? The blue side, or the blue curve is on top, so that's g of x minus f of x dx, okay? And that's the integral that we're going to set up in our calculator. So we're, we're going to graph and we're going to be utilizing our calculator. The other portion um, that, that's essential to this is I need to know what are my bounds? Where, where am I integrating from? So notice they, the functions intersect here and here at zero. So the upper bound for, for the first function is zero. The lower bound for the, the second, uh, not function, integrand or integral is, is zero. And then I, I have this portion right here. So I need to know what are what are those two functions. So we're going to go cruise on over to the calculator. Boop. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to open up a graph. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to label the, the first function that we have, which is f of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared. I'll plot it. And there's my function. And then um, I'm also going to add another graph, okay? So I'll just double click, it pops up, and I'm gonna label that, uh, this one's gonna be g of x. So negative x squared plus 4.1 x. I'll hit enter, there's my function. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna set up my, well, I, can, I don't have to pause it, I can just set up menu settings. I'm going to go ahead and, and look at my window. I'm going to adjust this window. So it looks kind of, you know, similar to what our, our graph was in our, our window settings, roughly negative three to three. And then from about negative 12 to da, 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 they do what? I don't know. We'll look at maybe five. Okay. And Hey, there is our graph. So um, we're going to use our, whoa, control Z, undo. We're going to utilize our, our um, calculator to help us find the, the intersection points. And I might need to drag. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to go menu, analyze graph. And again, I'm trying to find those inter intersection points. So analyze graph intersection. And I'm going to take the lower bound and then the upper bound, okay? And I get this value here, so negative 2.02, .02, and I have a feeling um, my settings are not at float. So I wanna go to document settings, float, let's go float eight, okay. And hold on, let me pause this and fix my settings. Sorry, I'm supposed to go here, menu, settings, and notice how it's at float three. I want it to be, I don't know, 
float six is probably is probably fine. Okay, and then here I get I get my values. Okay, so um, that's going to be negative two point oh two five. It looks like so negative. 2.025 will be the lower bound. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to analyze the function for the intersection of this point. And hey, look at that. 2.025 uh, also. Okay, so I'll go ahead and enter that. So 2.025. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to utilize our calculator to, to calculate this for us. Okay, so I'm going to add a, a page and I'll add a calculator and I'm going to show you a, a trick here. So I'm going to uh, open up a integral. Okay, I want the integral from negative 2.025 to 0 of f of x minus g of x. So note, these functions were already stored in your calculator, so I can click the VAR button here. And notice how um, two functions are, are popped up. Well, our first function was f of x, so f of 1 of x minus, now I'm going to subtract the, the other function, f of 2, which was g of x, of x. And notice I'm integrating with respect to x. Okay, and I'm going to add, and then I'll repeat this the step. So I'm going to drop in my second integral, integral of, okay, and my bounds are 0 to positive 2.025. And then notice on this one, right, our functions were flipped. It's g of x minus f of x, because in region 2 over here, our function uh, g of x was on top. So this is going to be f of f2 of x, which is g of x, minus f of x. And another thing you can do too is you can literally punch in uh, f1 and notice how that pops up and then I need to, to enter the, the variable f1 of x and I'm going to go over dx. We'll hit enter and hopefully our answer will pop up. It does. Hey, hey, 8.405, 8.405. So this is uh, actually not approximately. It is well. Actually, we're going to round. So approximately eight point four zero five. That is how you utilize a calculator to calculate area between curves. Catch you next time. Peace.